if I can get this. And thanks again. I appreciate this. Okay. Online public ready, gonna be go. Alrighty, so hello, my Facebook friends. Today I'm with one of my favorite people, Dorothy Pang. Dorothy's been a client of mine for a while, right? We've been we've been we've been doing this dance for a while. So um we would start with Dorothy, tell tell people what you do in the world because it's pretty cool what i do i do a lot of things i do mostly publicly acupuncture for pain and for fertility and mm -hmm. for other things um, i also do fertility coaching for people who can't mm -hmm. see me locally for fertility and i also have other intuitive abilities <laughs> and you're very good you're so good at those intuitive abilities yeah um that are still hard for me to define. But. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and three kids and what, bunnies and bees and plants and gardens and uh, Dorothy yeah. lives a really nice life. She lives a nice life. All right, so you've worked with me off and on for in different containers, right? And so right now you're in my Activate community, but recently or last year you were in my six month, it's, it's the, the expansion mastermind program, right? So. For you, I would love to hear, because, you know, a lot of people say to me, your work just needs, it's so, um, it needs to be experienced, right? It doesn't fit in little boxes. It's not like a 3D linear thing. And so um, I love that you're going to just basically share with us, maybe, maybe share why you wanted to be in the mastermind, other than that I was probably stalking you because I want your fertility work to get out in the world. And, and then just what it was like and where you where you were and then what happened now as a result so the latest mastermind we did together i think that's the second mm -hmm. tour we've done right mm -hmm. the latest one was last year yeah. and i just had an inkling that we should talk not <laughs> intending to join the mastermind at all <laughs> and Teresa's not a hard sell so i wasn't I knew I wasn't going into a hard sell, so I didn't feel like, oh, I shouldn't even book the call. Because sometimes you're really apprehensive to even book the intro call because you're like, they're just going to pressure me into buying something, and I, what if I don't want to? Right. Right. So I had, I knew that wasn't going to happen. Teresa doesn't do that. So I was like, okay, I guess we'll talk. And we did. And after sitting it for a, with it for a while, I decided that, yeah, that'd be a good thing to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and it was good and it is hard to explain what you do because it's yeah <laughs> it's yeah well it's it's energy it's, it's some strategy but it's a lot of energy and a lot of clearing and then a lot of like it's so it is so yes go ahead keep trying because we'll, we'll so it it's interesting because yes we could do strategy with you like obviously you can talk like marketing and bits and pieces of what to physically actually do with your computer or whatever or what would I say in a marketing group like what my little elevator speech we could do that right that's kind of uh, necessary but maybe boring stuff that's less interesting for for some people it's fine but it, you've got those skills but also um more energy stuff which is harder to define right because we can define an elevator speech that's easy uh, we know what that is um but the energy work um is what of course makes you more special and i think it's uh makes it more effective because as entrepreneurs women are often held back by how we feel about mm -hmm ourselves mm -hmm. and that's not something an elevator speech can fix right? right so i found therese can work on that if i really feel like uh how could i do that and it's not i mean how could you as in how could i charge market value versus undercharging which i've been it just sometimes feels hard to do 
Mm -hmm. And it's not because of any physical reason. Like you know how to do the job, you can do it effectively, you can get results, but you just feel like, oh, wouldn't that be bad of me to make that much money or something? And you you get into that and we address it and we can clear it in a session. So that can, you know, adjust greatly in 30 minutes. So we kind of blasted your income, like, because I remember when we had the conversation, um, you were you were like, I could never think of it, charging that. <laughs> and and you, what did, have you doubled? Have you added 60 percent more? I mean, it's it's stunning where you are now because like, again, nothing's changed. She didn't develop better skills to justify her new pricing. She just, I helped Dorothy own the value. I helped her embody, you know, cause what she said is, yeah, I, I can do acupuncture, but she's also an amazing healer. She's got, she's wildly intuitive and super accurate. And so she started bringing like all of herself. And when you bring all yourself, of course you're gonna charge more. Of course you're gonna get more comfortable. Of course you're gonna attract people that are like super cool clients. So, so talk about that. Cause that was, that's a tangible thing. Yes, you got X amount more income. But to me, the as cool thing is, but you got more of yourself. I like both of those. Yes. So there was, there had to be, I found that for me, that income ceiling, it was self-imposed subconsciously or whatever, not consciously, right? And um, that's not something I could work on myself with. I just, I mean, I, and I try people can't No, but well, you can't, that's the it's, thing. It's very it, difficult. It's so right? hard, I, I don't know if can. it's possible to do it on yourself. I, I, I couldn't. Mm-hmm. And, um, so we were able to go past that and I can't, uh, I mean, it was little bits and pieces of like how I feel about this and how I feel about that. And we yeah. change how I feel and I feel better. Like I feel less guilty. I have nothing to be guilty about. Right, I feel right. less uh, like I need to struggle. There's no reason for me to feel that way. Right. Right? There's no current life reason for me to feel like, oh, I should work so hard because I'm an acupuncturist. I'm not a field farmer, right? So <laughs> it doesn't have to be hard. That's not a hard job. But mm-hmm. I had these feelings of like, I should work hard to make money. Um, and I, I maybe still do, but at least they're they're better. So feeling well, like this Better. is all the ancestral stuff, right? And the and the culture and the gender, all the stuff we bring in. You know, I remember Dorothy, you 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 bought yourself a diamond necklace that was so, you know, for you to spend any money on yourself was right. And now and now she's like, look, look at my crystal. <laughs> this is bringing like honk and crystals. Like, not only are you making a whole bunch more money, you're doing it in a way that serves you, and you're enjoying the money. You're enjo- you're taking your kids on trips. Look at all the orchids in the back, right? Right, like you're like you're surrounding your life with the things that would give you beauty and pleasure. And I don't think you had that before. I didn't feel comfortable allowing it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it didn't. There was no reason to feel that way, right? But I didn't right. feel like I deserved it or right. whatever. Okay. Right. And so this is an example. And how, how many years have you been in practice? Oh, 23 right. years. So she's seasoned. This is not a person that's brand new. And we've been coaching together for off and on for. Yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> and so, so literally last year is when she finally, because everything, you know, it's, it's like developmental. We get you this far and then you live into that. Then, then there's the souls like, and just, so let, let me just go the latest iteration. When you called me and said, we should just chat. I just want to share. La, la, la. Well, Dorothy had wanted because she's hands on acupuncture, but she's been working on a per- fertility coaching program that can make her work go virtual. And having suffered from infertility myself, I'm all about getting the babies. Like I'm like, my gosh, if somebody can facilitate that and make it easier, make it more possible. So I joke like, oh, oh, I'm stalking you now. <laughs> Because in my mind, it's it's literally is like I'm super connected. It's like my soul was like, oh, you have to get this work out in the world. Like, ah, like I got the vision of it. I got the importance of it. I could feel the energy of it. And I remember our first session, you couldn't say yes to it. You sort of said yes to it. And Dorothy, she's a great client for me because she's so tuned in as well, right? And I'm like, Dorothy, okay, when you think about this program, where is it in relationship to your body? And she's like, it's out here. 
It was like really far. It wasn't just- really far, very far. Right? So yeah. like, so here's the thing. You can tell how smart she is. She's a professional, right? It's not because she already had the program. Everything was all set, but it was out there. It was really far away out there. You can't sell anything that isn't here. So the work we did was to get it, again, my word, embodied. And so we did exercises for you. And now this is the fully embodied version. This is now it's working. Now you've raised your rates. Now you're introducing crystals into your healing. You're, you're allowing the guides to speak to you and your clients. You're seeing the like, holy heck, fully self, self embodied, fully in charge. And so how do you, how do you show up differently today? Cause you have raised your rates. Yes. So it's a continuous cycle, right? You just step into maybe what you are comfortable with, but what you know might not be your eventual goal. But if you don't move towards it, you don't get any closer. Right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I raised my rates some and I'll probably raise my rates again, but not feeling tortured about that process. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not comfortable, but I'm not tortured. <laughs> it's an improvement. That's fabulous. Um, nice. Yeah. And, and that's, I don't know if a lot of people can change that. <laughs> that's the thing. And that's one example of one thing, right? There were lots of little steps and changes. Yeah. yeah, that's magnificent. So what would you say to somebody that is considering joining the expansion mastermind? Hmm. What would I say? I would say it might be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, you would have to be ready, though. You'd have to... Yeah. It's not just to sit down and fill out these worksheets kind of deal, right? You have to <laughs> be ready to grow as a person. And I think before last year, I wasn't really comfortable with that idea of growing a lot as a person. That's not that true. I had anti, like I, yeah. I was a fine yeah. person, but yeah. to really have more, you have to be willing to have more. I love that, the capacity. You did not have the capacity to receive anymore. I didn't believe I had it. Yeah. Right. And, and so see, that's the work, right? I call it expansion because and like you say, we don't have modules. It's not a group coaching, teaching thing. Um, you know, you might get a worksheet, but likely not. <laughs> it's just not my vibe. What it is, it's, it's like, we vision what, what would be yummy for you. Right. And we kind of set something, but then we just trust. We're just like, Oh, you want to do that? Oh, okay. Right. Because I believe that the soul is always calling for expansion. And then my job is to prevent the little unconscious or the subconscious or the epigenetic pieces, the family, the gender, the culture from sabotaging that, right? So the dance is managing these two pieces. And, and so um, don't apply if you don't want to go deep, right? You're not getting, it's not like, okay, read 36 pages in module one. Um, we're not doing that. Like not, it's not like fill out all the forms for no, no. <laughs> <laughs> this. Is, and it, you don't even know this. So in this version, uh, maybe you do know, this version, this is a hybrid. So this new expansion mastermind is a hybrid because there was like the group and there's a couple little coaching sessions. This one, you get like unlimited Voxer access for me. So it's like way more, way more connected. Now, some people are like, I'm out. <laughs> Holy shit, that's scary. I'm playing. But, um, but because I know it's like, it's a container. And if I can hold you more more closely, if I know what you're working on more intimately, and I can go, okay, good job. Now do this. Okay. What's your thinking? Who are you got to be? Okay. Tr no, try this headline. I still do strategy, but it's more the, like you say, you can't take your life out of your business, right? So it's about personal growth so that your business grows as well. Yes. <laughs> I think we did a good job today. Cause again, the work is hard to talk about and you did, you're just, you're just such a delight. I'm so freaking proud of you. It's been an amazing journey and I just, I feel blessed that I still get to work with you in the Activate community, so. Yes, and you're always supportive because sometimes, well, usually things are kind of sensitive because we're talking about how we feel about ourselves, right? Like, even if we've done all the good things in life, ancestral drunk, whatever, yeah, you know, there's, there's, yeah. there's, there's stuff there. So mm, yeah, it's great that you can get rid of that stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I, I somebody was I did a, a, a one of these Facebook lives and one a person said, "What are your gifts? What are your gifts?" Oh my gosh! And I said, "One is just I can hold it all. I literally I can hold. I there's nothing that you can't share with me that I'm gonna you know I I, I can I'm just that safe space, right? And but also you can hold the visions that we're afraid to hold for ourselves, right? One hundred percent, one hundred percent. 
Yeah. When, when I, the other thing I said to her, uh, my friend Georgina, is I, I see you how God sees you. I see the potential and I can hold that like, wow, possibility. Right. And that's it. Like I can hold it till you can hold it. So that was really well said. Thank you. Sure. All right, my beautiful human. Thank you so much. And if you're watching this and you're interested, just message me. We will have a phone call because I have two different levels of program. One is a, is a pretty low investment. The other one is a little bit higher investment. If you're a more seasoned business owner, six figures or on your way to six figures, um, that's, that's the expansion mastermind program. So message me, let's grab a convo. Like she says, I'm not a hard sell. It'll be cool. We'll get to know each other. I'll give you some tips or show you some things. Um, and then we can decide if it's time to work together. So Dorothy, you are the best, my love. You are just fabulous. I adore you. Thank, Thank you so much.